Oh, like that would ever happen. Ooh. Did you start that one? I did. Look at you go. Hi, everybody. Where are... What are you looking for? Where are the wigs? That are there. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> and they were in the order. And I'm used to having a big pile. It's not. It's throwing me off. Good morning. Good, good, morning. good afternoon. 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 It's afternoon. Well, the Pacific Coast people. It's still morning. Hi, Angela. Hi, Hi Mary. Allie. Melissa. Holly. I know Holly. Doesn't oh, she look oh, beautiful wait. today? Is it? I just want to make sure something. Oh, some uh, there. That's where somebody's in Lexington in horse country. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm done. Are you okay? Yeah, I just want to make sure the mic was working. Let's make sure you're here. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Karen. Oh, we're good. I am happy. My sister's visiting this week. Yes, she is. From Germany, so. I got to see her Saturday night. Yes. We had a party Saturday night for my dad's 80th birthday. And we're going shopping this afternoon. I hope y'all find good stuff. Lots uh, of good stuff. We always do. If you do, you better tell us where you found it and, you know, give us all the details. Yeah. Well, I told them we're probably going to head down to North Park. That whole area, because I don't oh, care what yeah. you want, they've got it somewhere. You're right. Since they added that whole like across the street thing. Yeah, there's the Nordstrom rack mm -hmm. over there. There's a you great just Home Goods park, and you can find anything you want. Yeah. And <gasps> Somebody named Misty joined TikTok. Hi. Maybe it was you. <laughs> Maybe it was me. <laughs> they got your phone out there. Hi from Hi Maria from Sweden, Colorado. Wow, a South South Africa. Uh, yes, we do ship to that side of the world. We ship on all sides of the world. Uh, Wendy on, on YouTube. I know. It doesn't say what I'm wearing because um, I didn't finish it. I'm sorry. I will update that, but I'll tell you in the meantime. Guess what? <laughs> I finally got a Henry Margot wig. <laughs> How did you get it? Well, it's it's your cast off, but that's okay. I finally got it because I hadn't got one yet. And I've been wanting one and had FOMO from every single person that walked in the door or ordered one online or you that had Henry Margot. Even Marsha had Henry Margot and I didn't have a Henry Margot. Poor, I'm whining. Poor Misty. Poor baby. This is Kindle by Henry Margot in the color 626H. I love that color. The oh, highlights so. are so beautiful in it. I like it, but um, this was Kim's that she wore last week, and she just thought it was too dark. So yeah, I, I think oh. I think the seven H is going to be perfect for me. I'm like I know what you can do with that. <laughs> I don't have to worry because I couldn't figure out what I wanted, and now this way I didn't have to do it. Yeah, the seven H is a little bit lighter, mm -hmm. uh, so I think I'm going to try that. Next. I don't know that I've even seen a seven H. You know, they're four H, five H, and seven H are all beautiful and the H stands for highlights. Uh, but I guess I expected it to be a little bit more monochromatic than it was, but it's beautiful. I, I look, I haven't seen a color yet from them that I don't like. I, I, don't, I don't think people I People probably either. think, get off the of Henry Margot. We've done it so much lately, but I just can't. I love them. Yeah, the cap's comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the fiber I, is real. Now I've worn my Kindle a whole lot. Oh, you should have worn yours today in blonde and we could have matched. Oh, we could have. But I wanted my wig. I know. What are you wearing, Kimberly? I'm wearing Delight by Ellen Villa in Pearl Blonde Rooted. So, this is... Yes, that just came in yesterday. Yeah. And you're like, oh! It didn't even make it to the stock room. <laughs> That's like your signature sound. Ooh! Yes! <laughs> I don't know, if y'all work with her, you gotta know what I'm talking about. She'll say, oh! And it's just her. Yeah. I, I know that sound anywhere. It's kind of like when you hear, <sighs> yeah, that's I'm Misty. a huffer. <laughs> Misty's a huffer. Not not a huffer as in drugs. Is that what they call it when you huff? Yeah, I'm not a huffer as in like huffing. I don't know. Huffing paint, you know what they say? Isn't that I, huffing paint? Huffing, not puffing. Huffing? Did you say puffing? Yeah. You can tell we don't do those things. Yeah. We're, we're good girls. <laughs> 
So I'm you hooker. putting a roach clip in your hair at the age of 16 and not knowing what it was. I wanted to be boho, okay? <laughs> that and was, have the feathers. And I can't help it that they put a roach clip. And I didn't even know what a roach clip was until you told me. Yeah. So. Well, that was boho before boho was boho. Mm -hmm. I miss those feathers and the little beads and the leather straps. Ooh, oh, I thought we, that was cute. Did, did, when you started working here, did we still have the bellflowers? No. Oh, we used to buy these bellflowers from this lady that made them. And they were on an old-fashioned comb. <laughs> I think you showed me pictures. I, I, my mom and I had one in every color. But, you know, okay, Marsha and I went to... Um, I had to return something at Marshall's, which is the story of my life, because yeah. I don't ever try anything on. And so we both just showed up one day at Marshall's before work, and I was like, oh, hey. Well, we were in the checkout line, and they had these, okay, back in the day, okay, my my hairstyle was pull all your hair, hair back in a low pony right here, and have your big bangs, and have these big bows. Yeah. And you clip the big bow in. Mm-hmm. I had every color bow, and I thought I was cute. You know, that's when I had a whole bin of bows. You remember when moonlighting was the, the show? Oh yeah. That I don't know why I thought of that, but that was in my moonlighting days, and um, they had those. They had some of those at Marshalls. Where was I going with that? The bell. You were the oh. bell flower. I was the big bow at the night. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I have had a lot of caffeine. The thing okay. about not having caffeine anymore. Is that when I do have caffeine, I really feel it. Okay, <laughs> Lisa wants to know um, what to do about her Heat Defiant Luna by Ellen Villa. The ends are starting to get frizzy. Um, we made a video, Misty and Carrie made it a live, I don't know, a month ago, where they show you how to iron out that frizz or, or smooth it out. So if you'll go back and check out that video, it'll tell you everything you need to know. And if you still have questions, email us or call. Yeah, I think I think we showed how to iron it out. Well, I know we showed how to curl. Yeah. Well, Carrie had my goddess that I had okay. torn up, and okay. she was taking the frizz out, and you were curling. Okay, okay. Yeah. I can't remember what happened yesterday, much less what happened back then. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. Okay. What do you want to talk about oh, now? I, there's a couple things I want to mention. First of all, thank you to Michelle from Wichita. Yes. Falls. You know who you are. She gave us all sweet Starbucks cards just I as know. a thank you. And so that's why I had caffeine this morning is because I had Starbucks. I wasn't even here and I got one. That was so sweet. Yeah. With an extra shot. Y'all better watch out. And also, I just I saw something yesterday and it just cracked me up. Okay, everyone knows Maxine. If you don't know who Maxine is and you're watching on TikTok or Instagram, we have a private Facebook group that is amazing. It has about 8,000 women in it, and it's, I don't wanna even want to call it a support group. It's. I mean, because it's just a fun group. It's it an grew encouraging in group. a way that we never, ever expected. And if you're not a part of that group, go be a part of it. It's a totally private group, so no one's going to see what you post or anything on your regular page or so you don't have to worry about you know if you don't want anyone to know you wear wigs but it's just a place where people can go post their pictures ask questions and all that well anyway in that group there is a sweet sweet lady named Maxine and she used to post every day um, a story and she would just just brighten everybody's day well she made a post either yesterday or the day before and she has a picture <laughs> of herself wearing her beach mono and she, in, by Ellen Villa, and she ends up saying that that was, like, I think her favorite wig, and she was going to have to put it to rest. And so I just wanted to take a moment of silence for Maxine's <laughs> beach mono, because we all know how that is when you have a favorite wig. It doesn't matter if you have 50 others, which she probably has more than that. She has When more you than got that. a favorite, you got a favorite. It's, it's a, I mean, I have things that need to be retired, I just can't get rid of them. No, it, but it's so emotional. Many, they're good memories because you knew every day that wig was perfect. It's emotional. Yeah. So everyone just remember <laughs> Maxine as she has to put down her beach mono and pearl blonde red. That's eggs. so sad. So anyway, I said that to say, go be a part of our group. <laughs> Mimi's Sweet Chicks VIP. Facebook. Okay. 
So that's all I wanted to say. Okay. You, we, should we do some wigs, maybe? Do you want to mention these really quick? Oh, yeah. We just got I even opened mine. stocked up in new readers, which I'm so happy about. They come in, but how many? Five different colors? One, two, three, four, five. Actually, six, I think, maybe. Okay. Um, five, five styles. They're on the website, and... We had this I love brand. The, yeah, we've, we've, this is the only brand of readers we've ever carried. We love have, them. I don't even have my, I haven't even got my, oh my gosh. I don't even have my stickers off yet. Wow. This is ICU eyewear. Okay. And if you wear readers, I mean, I have bought them everywhere from Dollar Tree to expensive. These are like heavy, like prescription glasses. Yeah. Okay. They last. They're well made, and I tear. I, I pretty much tear up everything, just as a rule. But I wear a glasses necklace, and so you've got rubberized pieces that are going to go here, and that's where mine always break because it gets in there. Well, my ICU glasses have never broken. No, uh, I'm, they're heavy, heavyweight, and we've got all colors, and they're on the website. They are just amazing, and it's gone on now like a couple years since we've got any new ones. And I was so excited to get these because they're great. Oh, yeah. And one of the styles, um, the style that's called Zara, I believe. It's blue light. Yeah. The Zara, which um, is this style. I'll actually put it on for you. It, it's blue light. And everybody's working at a computer these days. And, and what does blue light, blue light do? It, it blocks the blue light. <laughs> I don't know. If I if I'd known you were going to ask me that, I would have, like, Googled it. I don't know. It's just supposed to be good for you. I have uh, it on my prescription glasses, but I don't ever wear my prescription glasses because it's just too easy to go up, grab a pair of readers. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. This is Zara. These are cute. Donna says her and her girlfriend played taps for a purse she had to throw away. <laughs> I had a pair of pants, okay, that were like that. I literally almost cried when I had to put those pants down. And of course it's always when you can't find it, but she can get another beach mono. She can, but it won't be the same. Probably. It won't be the same. That's what I was about my very first Reese. Oh, but anyway, well. check out the glasses. Okay. All right. Now can we do wigs? Yes. I, I really don't want to take my new Henry Margot off though. I don't want to take my delight off, but I'm going to. Okay. Let's get these out of the way before I knock them off. Ooh, I like these. Oh, I like the case, too. It's polka dot. Yeah, and they all come with their little case, own little case. Look at these brown. I'm really into browns as I wear the brightest color I own. Really into browns and earth tones right now. Mimi loves the reading glasses, yeah. Okay. Mimi and I both have reading glasses everywhere. Is this just in here for last week? From last week? I don't know. I, I thought you wanted to show it again. I, no. I don't know. Okay. All right. So we're going to show you a new style from Henry Margu. It's called Terra. We're super excited about it. And so we just unboxed them, but we have not tried them on. All right. Can I just mention one thing just because I saw Kim Myers pop up? Kimberly, I, I told you a story. We decided to get the Orchid Collection and review it. So, um... It's on its way. We'll do it next week. Yeah. I'm not sure what colors we're getting it in. I know you specifically sent a message about um, the reds, but I'm not sure. But we are going to show those styles next week. Not sure if we're going to carry them on the website or not yet, but um, if you're thinking about the new Orchid Collection by um, Adirons, then hold off and we'll show you next week. They what have they like. three new colors. One is a salt and pepper, so it's, it's not going to be like Silverstone where it has the light front. It's going to be... Um, just salt and pepper throughout. I don't know what the percentages are. They've done, they've kind of redone melted, I think, whipped berry. And so <laughs> it's a fun fashion color. And um, I can't remember what the other color is. Oh, it's a uh, creme brulee, maybe? It's a blonde with no root. Anyway. We'll show them to you. We just told her to send us random colors, but to make sure to send red and gray. Yes. And just like I mentioned every week, 
This is a liner that's just for hygienic purposes because these wigs are not our own. You don't have to wear this if you wear a wig. Right. All right, so this wig has a lace front and a full monofilament top. So you can put the part anywhere you choose within this section. It allows for more flexibility than what the um, regular mono part would be. Okay. Everybody, every manufacturer right now is just into making bobs. <laughs> Which is good because for a while there weren't a whole lot of short bob issues. This one's got a little bit of a cowlick going on right here. Which, I mean, it's not bad. I'm down for a cowlick. Well, I got two. <laughs> I have to <laughs> pay for looks, them. <laughs> that just looks like hair to me. But I don't, we haven't done a lot of the Henry Margot grays. But I will say this right here is low density. Oh, yeah. It's very low density. I think I can come up. I mean, I would probably pull a little bit of that out, um, which would, I'm talking about the cowlick part, which would be easy to do. Just literally like what I just did, just pulling that and directing. They've never been out of the box. And this. This is cute. And what I love, it is a definitely a modern cut the way the ends are. Yep. Hi, Beth. Yes, the Tara is cute. It is cute, but that. I like poofier hair. So if you want sleek. Ooh, this is cute. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm telling you. Look how short the back is. Yeah, it kind of, that neckline kind of reminds me of Cody. Yeah, and a lot of people always ask to cut the neckline, and it doesn't cut well. Yeah. So this would be a good alternative. Now, this is super, super, super. This fiber is so silky. It feels great. And the cap's comfortable. i pull that down a little bit more. Okay, you know what I like? Huh? Watch, watch this. It moves. <laughs> I like wigs that move because yeah. that looks like hair. All right, you know the question that's going to get asked? Oh, yeah, can you put bangs in it? Which, I mean, I feel like there are already ways out there that have bangs in them already. But if, for some reason, what has bangs in it does, doesn't come in the color you want, then, yeah, I think we could add a bang to this. Worst case scenario, we could. It's regular fiber, so that's... It just, I think it will really distort the style because you don't have face framing here and that sleek look is so cool. And since it's so sleek and flat, a lot of times if you add a bang, just look from the side, you know, it just kind of doesn't give you any fullness, so it doesn't kind of round out the forehead area. I think I think it would also distort the mo modern, modern, it, modern, eddy, modern, mod I don't know. Modernness? I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. But I think it, I think this sleek, edgy look, I think with a bang, it just kind of oh, just distorts it. And there are lots of bobs with bangs. When I do this, that feels like my own hair. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, this fiber is so silky. Well, just because it's, it's not It's thick. fine. Yeah, it's like, people are always asking for a thin wig. This right here feels like, when I sh try to wear my hair straight, which I can't, it feels like my hair. Yeah. But better. Okay, let's switch. Ooh. I want to try that color. And we're actually going to show this in four colors. Two colors. Four colors. I like this color. It's a. It's got a little bit more depth to it than the Tony of Beverly Silverstone. A lot more depth than uh, John Renault's 101 F48T. It's hard to find gray with brown. Oh, I like this. Oh, Maria, this comes in a. Maria is asking if it comes in a darker shade, and it comes in a full color range. So and it, it comes in several grays. Comes in several grays. I think. I know Fair does. I'm not sure about Tara. 
All right. Uh, Melissa is asking, how does this compare to Jameson by Aesthetica? It's much shorter. Yeah, Jameson's about down to here. And much thinner. I, y'all, I I don't think I've ever put up. This almost reminds me of an Ellen Villa style. Yeah. Because of the lightweight feel to it. And the wig is lightweight. Oh, my goodness. I hate. Okay, this is what I hate. I hate liking everything I put on. <laughs> well, that's because you look good and everything. No, I just don't like that. Because I feel like people think that we're not, like, oh, you just like everything. No, I just, I do have liked just about everything Henry Margu. I mean, it just feels good. The only problem we've had with Henry Margu is with the page wig. We have had to fix the bangs on almost every single one we've gotten in. It's got, it, it had, bad cold set issue in the bangs. Yeah, which means it kind of just sticks out, but it's easy fix. Now, I will say, how does this cap fit on you? It fits good. I feel like it's a little bit smaller, well, maybe? Yeah, on the it ear fits to ear, good. it fits me everywhere, but the ear to ear is not as far down, but that's typical for me. Yeah. For anyway. I don't, do you think it would fit a large cap? No. Yeah, I don't think it would fit a large cap, which some of the other Henry Margu I think probably would, but... um cute and if you think it's too flat debbie says it's too flat which i would like a little bit more too i could just put a little bit of dry shampoo a little bit of product in it and you know yeah you could shush it up absolutely so that's two of their kind of grayish styles okay this is what this is like my favorite red they make boat in red Typically, 130, depending on the manufacturer, can look like clown hair. I'm not, I mean, I, I told Missy this morning, I'll have a filter today. <laughs> but I'm trying. Well, but theirs doesn't. There's that it's beautifully blended. It's got a great red color, but it's got color dimension. So, again, like I was talking about, the 4, 5, and 7H, the 33H has beautiful highlights. The thing about reds is you, okay, you have your natural red, and then you have your, you know, fashion red. So, I mean, clown hair, I mean, if you want to call it that, <laughs> it, it can't, but I mean, there's a lot of people who, who want that, you know, like this color? They want the vibrancy. Yeah, they want the vibrancy. And so there's so many different undertones as well that you can have. This is cute, cute, cute. See, I think I would wear Kindle in this color. Yeah, this one seems smaller than the other. Mm, this is pretty. I tame. love that red. Mm-hmm. This is nice. And what I like about their highlights is they're, they've done a good job of balancing everything. So there's not, they're not too chunky and they're not overly blended. So you can still see them without getting that real chunky um, um, look. Carla is asking what brush we're using. This is just the brush that we sell. This is a metal, which we don't, haven't really ever talked about in, implements in a long time. But um, this is just a metal wig brush. This is the Renee Paris one. Yeah. That's great. You don't want to use it on heat defiant fibers, but these little metal pins really get down into the cap and kind of release those hairs. And I love it. I like to use this on my own bio hair too. I do too. You gotta watch on your scalp, but you know what else it worked for great? What? Brushing my dog. Oh yeah. I have one. I got one for home. That because that looks like a the dog brushes. You oh, wearing. she loves it. She gets so happy when I pull the brush out. <laughs> this is cute. I like this style. I'm sure Renee of Paris would not be happy about that. <laughs> hey, if you want you know a great dog brush, just give you, your Renee of Paris. If you don't want the truth. We speak the truth here. We speak the truth. Okay, someone says that they find the best red from Henry Margu is the 82733H or the 82726GR. Um, huge hello from Canada. Thank you, um, Matt. Um, I I agree. Those are great reds. And the 82726, to me, 
I wouldn't, con I don't consider that red. I kind of consider it just so warm, but everybody sees color differently. So some people will come in here and I don't know, they'll put on this super blonde right here and say, oh, I see too much red in that, even though I see it as platinum or cool. So, um, but that brings me to something else I have to point out. And I'm so glad, I am so glad you made that comment. Henry Margu, when I put a, a, an item on our website, I will go to the manufacturer website and literally do a screenshot and print out all the colors that they make it in and upload to our website the same colors so that I know that it's consistent. Kindle, excuse me, Kindle? Kindle or Riley, I don't know. They said they didn't make it on their website in 82726GR. And if Rhonda, you're watching, I had her switch colors because I said they didn't make it. Well, thanks to Karine or Karen, she's like, it says they make it. Their website was wrong. Oh. I contacted our rep and I'm like, look, it's on another wig website and it shows that they're making it. Kindle, I'm pretty sure it's Kindle, in the 826, 827-26GR. So I have updated our website okay. and have some on their way to us. So if you've ever tried to buy that, and are like, well, it doesn't come in that color. Now you can buy it. So anyway. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa uses that brush on her dog too. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> All right. Like Let's switch. This. I like it. I would wear this red color right there. The red's pretty. It's party. Party, party. Okay, on this slide, we forgot the H on the 33. This color is actually 33H. Yeah. Uh, Maria wants to know if the 814 is cool. Yes, it is definitely cool. These are, well, in certain lighting, they almost kind of look a little similar. But yeah, this is a pretty color. It's a color of your hair. A little bit warmer than mine, yeah. Mm -hmm. If I actually do something with mine, put some warmth in it. Oh, I love this style. I do too. I really do. Oh. Well, we got a little bit of a reprieve on the hot weather here, uh, but it's coming days. back. Yeah, for two days. This um, would be great in the mm -hmm. heat. But this would also be good in the winter time if you wear turtlenecks or high collars a lot. Oh, can you imagine a big black turtleneck and those cute glasses? Mm -hmm. And this would be so edgy. If you did like the rooted gray, that'd be cute. So yeah. Red, red lips. Um, let me just address Eva's com comment. This does not make permatease look ratty. The permatease is going to, I hate to say ratty, but that's what teasing is it's they used to call them rat in your hair or a rat tooth comb it's because you're going to interlock those fibers that's what permatease is it's something that's permanently in there and we'll do a whole video on cap construction again because we haven't done it in a long time and so this actually gets down in that permatease and lifts it and keeps it from being compacted and actually allows it to do what it's supposed to do that's why they make these brushes yeah and the permatease is a design feature i there's lots of people that want that. So depending on what you want, if you want volume and height, you want the permatease. If you don't, you want some hand tied features like the wig that we have on because it's going to make it lay flatter. Mm -hmm. But shoot, if you've ever seen me wear my Brooklyn by John Renault, which is super sleek and flat like this, I get a huge. Yeah, you do. I mean, if you want big hair, there's always a way to make something big. Okay. If you're a true Texan. And if you're not, we can teach you how. <laughs> we can teach you how to be Texan. We can teach you how to do have big Texas hair. Oh, uh, we could have like a Texas training farm <gasps> where people can come in with little like casitas and stuff and we can we can teach them how to talk like us. You ain't ever gonna talk like us. <laughs> Just don't get carried away, Kimberly. <laughs> this takes years of training. But now the Texas hair, we can teach in nothing flat. We'll have to do a whole wig, wig Talk Wednesday on just how to have Texas hair. Okay. Okay, so we're going to show you another style by Henry Margot. It's called Farah, And I don't know why they named this wig Farah, 
because every time, in fact, I put a sticky note on the box that, in the stock room because it doesn't look like anything that you would think Farrah would look like. So, but it is cute. Hi, Alicia. I just, one of our influencers, influencers, Alicia, she's wigging out on um, all her Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that. She just popped on. I want to say hi to her. Hi, Alicia. And if you haven't followed her, um, just follow her because she's always got a coupon code. And she shows the wig so well. She always shows the cap construction. They're not real long videos, but she sh yeah. she covers a whole lot of information great. all at once. So. Uh. <laughs> no. Sorry, the wigs got... Some of them got mixed up, some didn't. No? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Carol. Okay, so Farrah is similar to Classic Cool. So we're, we decided to show you Classic Cool so that you could see them side by side because there's a few differences, but they're both sleek. Well, and not every manufacturer makes every color. So if, you know, one or the other has a color that you don't like, but you really like this kind of style, then, you know, there you go. You can say, well, you know, Henry Margie doesn't have a color, but Raquel does. Or you can interchange the styles and, you know, go with both. So the 88GR is the closest to the SS1488. Mm -hmm. the, uh, if the, can I turn you? Mm -hmm. On the 88GR, what I think is really cool is they tip the ends, so it looks like real hair. It looks like if you were putting highlights, your ends are going to be lighter um, over time. So the kind of it kind of looks sun-kissed to me. Yeah, and the oh. ends of your hair, even if you don't do any color, are always lighter anyway just because they get more sun, more damage, you know, they're a little bit. So, yeah, this does mimic, but we wanted to do them side by side just to show you because... A lot of people ask, what is, you know, a rooted blonde in Henry Margot that's similar to other styles, creamy toffee R, things like that. And people ask us all the time, I want something different than what I've been buying, but not a lot different. And so this gives them a place to go. The difference between Classic Cool and Farrah is you've got more layers here. Oh, sorry. I thought that was your earring. <laughs> uh, Classic Cool is thicker here. It doesn't have as many layers. But lengthwise, we're close. Yeah. Uh, Debbie says Farrah looks a little fuller than the last one. It is. It's, yeah. It's a it, mono. Even, is it a mono top or mono part? Mono part. Okay. So it's a mono part. So you've got permatease out I here that you, it's going to give you no, that lift. No, it's full mono top. Oh, it's full mono. Okay. And Classic Cool is full mono? No, Classic Cool is mono part. So okay. if... And, and we run into this in the store all the time. People want to move the part. They want to part on the op they want to part on the opposite side. And this will uh, the oh gosh, I'm losing my words. The Farrah will allow you to do that, whereas the Classic Cool will not. Um, there isn't. Someone's asking if there's a color comparison to the Candy Blonde Rooted from Ellen Villa. Not really. No. No. The only color or only brand that's going to make a color close to that is going to be Noriko or Renee Paris, which is the melted marshmallow. Yeah. All right, let's switch. Did you turn to the side on that one? Oh. Yeah. So we'll both turn to the side and kind of show. So. That has a little bit more exaggerated stack. Mm -hmm. I think so. Inside of Classic Cool. Cap, cap, what? Cap size wise, I think they're both about the same. Yeah, I do too. I like this side sweat bang up here. I think that's really cute. Oh, I need to sneeze. I'm so sorry. Would you like a tissue? <coughs> too late. I couldn't hold it. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. We're all suffering from allergies right now. Well, don't ask Carrie because she told us about nasal spray. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be mad at me for saying that. <laughs> we don't remember her telling us that. 
Well, but she I hear her out there right now. She's probably huffing. She doesn't huff. She just like <gasps> gets mad. Maria wants to know if it's a cool color on Farrah. No, this has got warmth to it. Not, not. It's I not mean, overly gold. Not red, I'd but wear it, but it does have warmth. Oh, thank you. Somebody blessed me. Maria Walby, she's so sweet. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it. So even though, look, it's already twelve thirty-six. Oh my goodness. Why can't we do anything quickly? Because we talk too much. <laughs> You talk too much. Okay. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Where's my wig, though? I have a wig to put on. I'm done. I'm going to yeah, work you're, now. And you're, you're not leaving without your Yeah, not without candle. My, not without my new Henry Margot that it took me six months to get. All right. I'm sending Marsha in. Y'all have a great week. I'll see you all next week. Hey, I haven't seen you in a long time. I know you miss me. You cried I, every night. I you? did. I did. So, you know that little girl on Facebook that says, hey, guys, you know what time it is? Have you seen her? Mm. She's so cute. And she says, time for the quote of the day. <laughs> so it's time for the sale of the day. All right. What's it going to be? Well, I believe that it's going to be 30% off of everything except for Mimi's exclusives so and Ooh. then with that you also get a free wig grip and make sure if you want a specific color for your wig grip that you put it in the comment section yes so you don't get like a token color and just so people know when you have a blonde wig and you have a dark root you want the dark wig grip because the inside of your cap is dark. If you have blonde or gray, you want the lighter one. Yeah. Some people prefer the lighter one, but if you have dark hair underneath and you put the lighter one on at the part, it'll show. Yeah, so you want the, yeah. So just make sure in the comment section that if you want a specific color, you mark that in the comments so then we'll give you the right color. Yeah. All right. So we'll, happy we'll shopping. Thirty percent off everything. Heat wave thirty. Oh yeah, I didn't say that. Did no I? spaces. Um, and a free wig grip. Yep. Everything you need to wear your wig. Happy All right, y'all. Everyone. Y'all have a great week. We'll yep. see you next time. Same next week. Same time. I can't talk today. You cannot. You tongue tangle. I know. Yeah. It's because I've taken too much time off lately. No, you're a slacker. I am. All right. Thank